Good morning, Cowanites. Nice, beautiful day. Stay inside and avoid it. <laughs> it's hard to believe that this is my 12th week doing this. It's getting a bit old for me, actually. I'm kind of getting, uh, I don't know if it's bored or just uh, out of ideas is probably the best way to put it. Can't wait until I can finally start getting out of the house again and doing more things and getting something a bit more interesting on this screen besides me putting around the house, doing my thing. I need to go to Canadian Tire to pick up a oil drain pan so I can do the oil change on my motorcycle, but my, uh, my anxiety's up quite a bit, so I don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and make it happen. Actually, I am gonna make it happen. I'm going to go through some of my meditation practices and mindfulness practice and see if that can settle me down enough to, uh, to go over and get what I need and get out of there. All right, I'm just gonna rip the Band-Aid off and do it. Here we go. Am I the only one that does this? Stuffs their laces inside their boot, and then just slip them on. I think that's a hint I need those slip-on boots. Again, here we go. Time to go to Mount Pearl. Let's see how this works. The car on the left should have went, but they never. Now it's everybody else's turn. And once these guys go straight, then it's my turn. I'm in desperate need of an oil change in my motorcycle. I didn't get one done last year. I bought all the necessary components except for the uh, DCT filter. So that's what I'm at now. I'm slowly collecting everything I need. This has been a nine month project to change my oil in the motorcycle. That's crazy. It's about the oil and the filter last summer at some point and anyway I didn't have the DCT filter <clears throat> and the o-ring that goes with that so I just put it off and put it off and anyway now I'm going to go and buy the oil pan that you put underneath to catch all the oil so that way I can dispose of it properly once I'm finished that's the uh, final uh, final ingredient in this recipe we'll see how it goes that's the joys of procrastination. I can take years to do a project because I, uh, it takes me several weeks or months or even longer in between each step of the project or whatever it is I'm doing. I mean, if you watch any of my other videos, you would have seen in the last two, three, two or three videos, I've been at Canadian Tire. And I was even in the aisle where these oil pans were, but I did not pick them up because they were not relevant to my current project that I was working on at the time. It's, uh, that's the way my mind works. It's, I can only focus on one thing and that's it. If I had multiple projects on the go, I'd be screwed right now. So uh, yeah, my goal right now is just to get an oil pan and that's it. It is a balmy three degrees Celsius today. It's nice and sunny. Roads don't look too bad. You know what that means. I'm tempted to take my motorcycle out when I get home. Gas 
is a dollar seventy seven point nine. What do you think it'll be after April first after that protest in the winter? No, don't worry. I'm staying away from politics. And once again we made it. At least it's a nice day. I feel like I've been here just recently. go with this one. The concern with that container, with that oil pan, is that it might be too high and not fit underneath the motorcycle, so when I drain it, but I'm not too concerned because worst case scenario, I'll just use one of those uh, tin foil turkey baking pans. <laughs> they work. Uh, they work good for that. things you gotta worry about with motorcycle riding is this time of year people like to shovel their snow out on the uh, out on the road I'm surprised there's none up here because this is a guy who usually does it all the time yeah there's a bunch there he hasn't got it thrown out so far though and everybody's on the wrong side of the street today it seems Let's see if she fits. Perfect. All right, it's going to be a little chilly. It's only plus three out. So uh, it might not be a long ride, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Plus I got heated seats and heated grips, so I'm kind of spoiled like that.
I made it to Signal Hill in one piece. wasn't too cold, just my ankles a little bit. Well, that was the best thing I could do to help with my anxiety. Get out on the bike. Because uh, I'm pretty good now. What do you guys think? Hey. Eh? Gotta capture the view before I go back. All right, where to next?
That was my hair. This is nice. The sound of children playing is something you don't hear much of around here anymore. kind of nice i know there's a reason for it people uh there's a lot of people out that like to shovel snow from their property out onto the roads when the weather warms up it drives me insane but i understand that they probably just don't want the salt and the dirt on their grass when it finally melts and thaws but still it just baffles me that you spend the whole winter shoveling shit snow onto your property and then in spring, you spend your spring shoveling snow off your property. It's counterintuitive to me. <laughs> Good morning, Cowan Heights. Happy Wednesday, it's hump day. Humps of snow everywhere. Today is supposed to be ketamine Wednesday, but I got a call, they had to reschedule. So I go back to ketamine Thursday for tomorrow. And it kind of sucks because I was planning on going out to visit my parents' place, which is about a three and a half hour drive away. And I like to do it during the non-busy days because this is a long weekend. So Friday on the roads are gonna be crazy. And I don't do that so well. So I was gonna go Thursday, but since I got ketamine treatment, I can't go anywhere until Friday if I go. Sometimes just the sound of your own footsteps keep you going one step after the other. I think I should have went for a motorcycle ride instead of doing this. See, my appointment got canceled and that screwed me up because that was it. That was always on my calendar today was my appointment. And uh, I just couldn't come up with anything. So I just medicated and read for most of the day. It's actually not bad. I, at page 111, this book wasn't really interesting, but I'm at 201 now and it's starting to, uh, starting to come around. So we'll see what happens next. Just what I need, mindless entertainment. Getting ready to cook supper now. Let's go. This evening is butter chicken.
Good morning, Cowan Heights. Welcome to Ketamine Thursday. It gets harder to get pumped up for these appointments when you're not really feeling the effects, or at least you don't think you are. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I don't think I am, but that's besides the point, right? Breakfast of champions right here. Protein bear, water, and coffee. It actually works in changing people's behavior for the best, so that we can achieve outcomes in the world that we actually want. But before we get into the ethics, we need to clear away some more. Well, my ride is there. And more than capable, of course. Um, the best floor is down there. Here between Mr. Bushi and maybe people involved in the case. Mr. Bushi quickly put that grant and said there, you know, lawyer assigned to the drama. Although, there's always the possibility. Yay. So that we don't have to, like, I don't want to compromise on quality. We can get all, we still have our rosy cheeks. Yeah, it's not too much. Yeah, we can get as much uh, ingredients in as possible, like high quality i made it ready to start my 16th session which i'm i don't want to do it i'm sick of it tired of it i'd much sooner be out on motorcycle right now i mean just look out there it's sunny and double digits pretty much the good old questionnaires Extreme anxiety, really. <laughs> Done for the 16th time. First dose is in. Blood pressure's good. And my little gift basket of Tic Tacs. Second dose is in. It's just a matter of waiting another five minutes for my third dose. And then I will have a Tic Tac to get rid of this horrible taste. Got my third dose in. So that means I can have one of these now. So in my headphones today, I'm hanging out in a monastery. So I'm gonna lay back and relax and enjoy the sounds now. Yes, I'm done. I just gotta wait around 10 minutes before leaving, that's all. Let's try the standing up process. It's usually, usually a little disorienting at first. So that last session wasn't too bad. It was my 16th ketamine treatment, I believe. 12 weeks at this now. So this is my 12th week done. And again, I'm not sure if it's working or not, but I'm still just gonna go through the motions and uh, fake it until you make it, right? Anyway, I'm gonna end this video. This is a long one, sorry, but I had a couple rides in there, had to share those. So hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Anyway, thanks for your support and take care and keep watching.